Good afternoon, friends of Faith Lutheran. Pastor Jerry Watts here, and it's my joy to gather with you in God's Word and in prayer today, and with a few moments about where we'll be in worship in God's Word this weekend. And so let's begin together. First Timothy chapter 2 is where we'll dig in this afternoon. In First Timothy chapter 2, beginning in verse 5, we hear these important words. For there is one God, there is one mediator between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all, which is the testimony given at the proper time. Once again, here in 1 Timothy, the Apostle Paul is taking the church, taking the church then, and taking us, we, together, the church now, right back to the heart of the gospel, what Christ has done for us on the cross. That should lead us to a time of prayer. Let's do that time of prayer now together. I invite you to join me in prayer. Lord Jesus, wherever we're at today, whatever joys we're experiencing, whatever pains we might be suffering, take us to the foot of your cross today. For you were the one that sacrificed it all and ransomed for us on the cross. God with us so that we could forever be with you. We pray, Lord, that that is true in our lives, that is true in our family's lives, that's true in our neighbor's lives, that is true across the world. But this good news of the gospel that you are for us, that you are coming after us and ransoming us and paying for the price of our sins so that we can be with you, that that radical truth, Lord Jesus, we pray this day, would get out in our hearts and get out through us to the world around us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. And as we continue digging in to Paul's letter to Timothy in 1 Timothy chapters 2 and 3 this weekend in worship, I'm going to invite us this weekend to see what roadblocks. We've got this cone and, and road divider that we use at Faith Fighters as a, a visual reminder of the roadblocks that often keep us from that incredible truth of what Jesus did for us on the cross. We're going to dig into that further this weekend and try to discover by the help of the Holy Spirit how those roadblocks can be ushered out of the way so that we can, in fact, come right into the heart of the gospel, into the presence of Jesus, to learn what it means to live as the household of faith in our daily lives and in the world around us. I hope you'll join us in worship online or in person this weekend as we worship Christ together and as we dig into God's word together this weekend. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your, your home. I'm praying for the whole household of faith that we can live into this gospel together and be a light into the world as God intends, as Jesus intends for us to be. God bless you all, and I'll see you this weekend in worship. 